Hi guys and welcome back to Ty Denise. So it is early in the morning. I just finished running some errands, dropping the kids off at school and I thought I would come on really quickly and do my five Friday favorites. I'm so happy to be back filming my five Friday favorites. So if you guys are interested, stick around and let's get right to it. The first item I want to share with you is the Solid Brush Cleanser by Sephora. The reason why I wanted to put the Solid Brush Cleanser by Sephora into my 5 Friday Favorites is because this is just an amazing product. It is very affordable. It runs you about $14 in comparison to some of the higher or other brands like um, the Beauty Blender Solid. That runs you about $16 to $18. I think about $18 somewhere right in there. But what's really cool about this one is that it also comes with this absolutely cute little rubber tab which is this one right here I'll show this to you up close so why I wanted to share this product with you is because I was amazed I was actually mesmerized by how easy it was for me to clean my makeup brushes this soap right here just gets into your brush and it breaks down the makeup like effortlessly it was amazing and then this little rubber tab I just inserted into the cap of the product and I swirl my brush around very lightly and it just dissolves the makeup it just breaks it down and I really really truly am enjoying using this product I wash my makeup brush it brushes once a week and I feel like even though this is a bit expensive in comparison to like a bar of soap it's $14 um, I feel like you'll get your money's worth I think that this product if this little bar of soap will last me at least five months because it takes just a little bit of soap even for the large makeup brushes you just kind of wet your makeup brush you dip it in here you swirl it around and then you take the cap and swirl it around if you need to and if the brush is too big for the cap then I just swirl it around in my hand I rinse it and I'm done and my brushes are just fluffy the bristles on the brush you know the hairs on the brush seem very soft they seem very conditioned so I am really super impressed with this product and I like the fact that you get that little extra rubberized um, tab that you can put inside the lid of this container and really work the product out if you need to but on its own the soap itself it's just amazing and it really does just get in there and just get all the makeup out just effortlessly it just breaks it down so beautifully with not a lot of effort so yeah I'm really enjoying that product so the next item I want to share with you is the Shimmering Skin Perfector. It is a pressed luminizing powder and I have it in the color Topaz. Now this particular Becca powder comes in five different shades and it retails for about $38 US give or take a couple of dollars. Um, I picked mine up from Sephora on the VIB 20% off sale and I'm so happy I did. I was on the fence about this product. So let me just tell you this, I am all about luminizing the skin, highlighting the skin, making it as look as youthful as possible. I am getting older, so therefore my skin is aging, so I try to do things that gives it a very natural, um, youthful look. And I feel like with highlighters and luminizers, um, you can achieve that even if that is not the natural state of your skin. So I'm actually wearing this product today and I have it just along here. It's just this highlight. It's really, really soft, really, really effortless. I really like this. I do own a lot of highlighting powders, okay? And I use my highlighting powders for different reasons. I just, I do. And I find that like some of my favorites are the Hourglass highlighting powders, that palette. Um, I use those when I just want a subtle, soft, like radiating glow. Like I just want to look like I'm glowing from within, like I haven't really placed anything on the skin and I'm kind of just glowing from within. And I feel like with those ambient lighting powders by Hourglass, it gets the job done. Some of my other favorites, ones that I reach for on a regular, are... Um, the bomb betty luminizer that is the bomb and then also the sonia kashik and i think it's number 42 or 45 something like that goldis or gold or goddess something one of those names i don't have it here in front of me those are like the three that i use in rotation all the time i am so glad even though i have those i am so glad that i decided to pick this one up and i'm so happy that i went with the color topaz there are 
five different colors and I know everybody's talking about opal and so on but the topaz works for me. I'm wearing it now and it just looks like my skin is glowing. I have it on my cheeks, I have it on the tip of my nose, I have it down the bridge just ever so slightly. It is just good stuff in a compact. I really really like it. Here is a close-up of the item here. It's just absolutely gorgeous and here I'll swatch it just on the back of my hand and do you see how it just kind of blends into my hand but it gave it like a golden glow it's just beautiful it's just I just love this stuff I think it's just gorgeous I cannot get enough of this so the reason why I'm sharing this with you if you're looking for that absolutely beautiful radiant glow like it is apparent your skin is glowing but you want it to look natural you can use this product very lightly, apply it in the morning. You just look so beautiful and hydrated and plump and just golden in all the right places. I know this product is a bit pricey and I probably would not have picked it up if it wasn't for the 20% discount for the VIB sale that Sephora was offering, but I'm so happy I have this in my collection and I would have missed out on something amazing and it just makes my skin look so nice and just just really really pretty I really really do like this a whole whole lot I have not stopped using it since I have purchased it I've literally just left it out on my vanity because it's pointless for me to be putting it up because I'm reaching for it so much so I wanted to share this with all of you so the next item I was so surprised when I saw it I was really really pleased when I saw it and what it is it is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I picked this up at my local CVS pharmacy and I want to say that it was about $13, $14 and it is worth every single penny. Um, if you are part of CVS Pharmacy, you get beauty bucks. I do suggest you use your beauty bucks towards this product. You will not be disappointed. I have been using it for, I want to say, about five days, not even a full seven days, so not even a full week, but I have been using it nonstop. I haven't had any irritation at all. And how I have been using it is I will powder my face down just with a light powder like my physician's formula powder but sometimes when I do that in the morning I haven't had my natural oils build up or I don't use a moisturizer that has a lot of oil in it like I like moisturizers that don't have an oily kind of feel so when I powder sometimes I get that like ghostly look this just takes care of that and how you're supposed to use it is you can use it in an X spraying motion or a T spraying motion it says that you can give four to six pumps I don't suggest doing that I suggest just doing maybe two and I find that it kind of just wakes up the skin I don't look as powdery in the morning I look settled and everything looks natural um, not oily or dewy just natural and I really really like this spray a lot so if you can check it out your CVS pharmacy should have it stocked by now so the next item I want to share with you is this here. It is by MAC. And what this is is the Keepsake bag. And it comes in this absolutely cute makeup bag. So this is the makeup bag right here. It has this cute little cameo right here on the side. And then it has the beaded detailing around the bag, which is really cute. And I picked my Keepsake bag up in red. I am a sucker for an absolutely gorgeous red lip. You guys already know that if you watch my channel regularly. So of course I picked up the red lipstick bag and in this red lipstick bag you get these three items here. So in the makeup bag this is the first item you get. You get this absolutely gorgeous cutely packaged Ruby Woo and this is a retro matte. It is the best red matte lipstick ever invented on the planet. I swear by Ruby Woo, by MAC. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And then something I've never tried before is you get the lip glass in Ruby Woo, which is really, really nice. I was so surprised that I was going to like this as much as I did, but it's this color here. Okay, so I picked that. That came in the bag too. And then you get a red Ruby Woo lip pencil. Um, I don't really use a lot of lip pencils when I use my Ruby Woo because it's so drying and it just stays in place when I use it. Um, but if you have an issue with feathering or anything like that, this is a great little pencil to have along with that set. 
So this entire set I feel like is so cute. I feel like it would be a great gift for someone that you know wears a ton of red lipsticks or likes red lips. It's right around the holidays. It's perfect for a gift. It retails for about $39, give or take a dollar at Mac. So I will say this. My Mac is more of a boutique style Mac in my community. It is because we don't really necessarily have a mall. We have shops and all the shops line one specific street in Old Town. And so they're more like storefronts. So it's a more boutique style, even though I do believe our Mac store is a pro store. I believe it is. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. Anyways, long story short, my Mac was sold out. So I actually had to drive out a little further to Nordstrom to pick up this from the Mac store inside of Nordstrom. Now, if your Mac store is sold out, ask one of the ladies that work there if they will go ahead and call like a Nordstrom and and check and see if they have it stocked. The Nordstrom that I went to was super stocked. So, I was so pleasantly pleased and they said that they had actually got a second shipment in so that's why they were stocked to the nines. But this is such a great gift to give to someone like I said, if they like red lips. And I thought for $38 you get all of this product and just two of the items in this bag is more than like $40. So you, so the reason why I'm putting it in my five Friday favorites is because I feel like this is such a great gift. I think Ruby Woo is the best red ever. And if you want to give someone the opportunity to try a Ruby Woo lipstick, you can keep the other items for yourself and then gift the Ruby Woo. I don't know, it just depends on how you want to do it, but um, for $38, this is a great value, and Ruby Woo is just the best red on the planet. It just is. So, check it out. And So, while I was inside of my Mac store, the Mac Boutique, not Nordstrom Mac, but the Mac Boutique in my community, um, while she was calling around trying to find me the red keepsake bag, I went ahead and I picked up a few more things because I was there, and I don't really always have a wonderful experience when I go inside of MAC because of the salespeople. So that's probably why I don't own a ton of MAC makeup. And I'm not savvy enough to actually shop online. I need to go in and like see what I'm picking up because I'm new to makeup. But anyways, I went ahead and I picked up these two little travel size or like deluxe size sample pigments. So the two pigments I picked up Oh my gosh, they are so freaking beautiful. Okay, so normally a MAC pigment runs, I want to say $21 US, but these little travel sizes that you will probably never use up only run $10. And I think MAC has in total like, um, I want to say 36 36 different pigments, but in the little deluxe size sample sizes, they only have, I want to say, maybe 20. So I picked up two of the colors that were like talking to me. I immediately was drawn to them. So the first color I picked up is Old Gold, which is this hair. It is beautiful. And then I also picked up Blue Brown. So the reason why I am showcasing these two pigments in my Five Friday Favorites is because I am not used to wearing pigments. Most of the eyeshadows that I used are pressed. Well, after doing a little bit of research and really just talking to the sales associate there, and she was explaining it to me, these are like loose powders that are extremely concentrated and they are and they are designed to kind of adhere to the skin and they give a ton of payout. Like there's a ton of color because they are a pigment. And I have noticed everything she told me about pigments, especially MAC pigments, I guess, are 100% true. Oh my gosh, you can use these pigments very lightly or you can use them at their full freaking intensity. It's crazy how beautiful these pigments are. So I'm going to actually show them to you if I can without making a mess. So this first color here you guys is old gold. Do you see how beautiful that pigment is? And I'm actually going to swatch this for you guys. This is just a swatch with the back of this little brush here. I just swatched it. And this right here is old gold. Do you guys see how crazy this is how beautiful this is it is so intense and that is not with a primer or wetting it 
it's just dipping the brush into the cap and then applying it here to the back of my hand. Now you don't have to use it as heavy or you don't have to pick up as much product as I did, but do you guys see how beautiful this color is? And let me tell you this. So I have been using these over like other eyeshadows and like blending them and just playing around and creating all these absolutely gorgeous looks with these two pigments. It's crazy how beautiful and how fun makeup can be and just I've just really had a wonderful time using these pigments. So anyways, this one, that one I just showed you was old gold. And then this one right here is a stunner. It is um, blue-brown. This color right here is blue-brown. Now, this is not doing it justice, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so this is what this blue-brown looks like. Do you see how beautiful that is? When you turn it one way, it looks a little blue. Then you turn it the other way, it looks brownish blue. And when you buff it out, it looks like this absolutely beautiful brown that has a hint of blue and shimmer and it's reflective and it's just goodness. And how I wore this the first time I wore the blue brown is because I wasn't sure how I wanted to wear it. I was a little bit intimidated. Um, what I did was I put brown all over my eyelid and then I put this on top and then I took a clean blending brush and just blended it out just above the crease. Put my eyeliner on, put my mascara on and it was the bomb. It was so absolutely gorgeous it was gorgeous it was gorgeous it was gorgeous it was gorgeous so I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed my five Friday favorites I always have fun doing these five Friday favorites so much is going on in my personal life right now that I'm emotionally on this roller coaster but I'm trying to keep it all you know balanced wishing each and every single one of you peace happiness wisdom and just a sense of letting your light radiate in a positive way on people. I'm hoping that you're having a wonderful, awesome effect on people. I always enjoy sharing my videos with you guys. And life can take you up and down and this, that, and the other. But the one thing that is constant is when I turn on my camera to talk to all of you, I always feel like I'm speaking to friends. So I just want to say to you guys, I think my... Um, subbies are amazing i think you guys are awesome thank you so very much for all of your support so anyways i'm going off and um i can hear my phone vibrating that means my sister needs me she's texting me so i'm gonna go ahead and go guys i hope that each and every single one of you have a great day bye <laughs>